What day is it? Um, Monday, the 1st of January, 2024. Let's jump into it. Woo! Not only is it the 1st of January, New Year's Day, 2024, it's also, because it's Monday, it's the first month, the first week, the first Monday. So you need to punch me? Yeah. Pinch punch first month. We actually already did that at midnight. Yeah, so. you should be able to buy the now that you're 95, get all of the smoothie off your face. Yeah, so, welcome to our jumping vlog. I always feel like every vlog we do is a bit. The intro is a bit terrible, and I was talking to Mum about like making an intro or keeping it the same as our outro. <laughs> but I think our intros are actually pretty cool. Well, I don't know. So I've done a little testing with the mics. We have got more mics, everybody. So my arms are in a really awkward position. So I'm like leaning back to talk to you. Um, but thanks to Margot. I've mentioned this in every vlog since Margot has eaten our mics. She's fine, by the way. She eats everything. Um, and we're not trying to poison her. We try and keep everything out of the way. But... You know, she's got to learn not to eat things. And she's only six months old. And she's only six months old. Not sure if you heard that, because I'm speaking on a mic and Mummy is not. But today, we will mic up both of us, because last time we did a jumping vlog, I was the only one that was mic'd up, and Mummy did not have a mic and she was trying to talk, which didn't work. I have got in a shower. This isn't just my greasy hair. Um, letting everybody know. Is this Are you due to your, on your <laughs> lipstick for <laughs> our jumping? Yeah, show vlog? jumping. Well, when you decided to do a vlog, I thought, oh, I don't actually have any makeup on at all, which might be a bit scary for, well, for your subscribers. Oh well. But I'm it's... going back to your own personal hygiene. Um, last night when we stayed up to see in the new year, mm. I can't remember if you agreed, but I think I decided that your New Year's revolution would be to shower more than once a month i mean sorry you're making it out to seem like i'm really unhygienic i promise i don't smell at all well, good grief. uh and i do shower a regular amount first thing mostly every day first of january new year's day and you've had a shower Yay! never mind the jumping you said you said winner. that in quite a few vlogs and i was watching it back and i was thinking <laughs> my subscribers probably think i'm like really stinky dirty well you are and i'm crapper. not we also I, i'm not sure if i should say this but i will we have some exciting things coming this month so there will be that is true. There will be some pretty exciting videos. I know one that's <laughs> definitely going to happen, and a few others we are pending on. I think one of them you and I might think is really exciting, and everyone else might think yeah. it's really not. <laughs> that's the one that's definitely going to happen. That's very exciting. And then we have a few others which might just be like announcements. But anyway, we might have to do a catch-up video. We've also done a plan for the season. We have. Now, I want to get home and show you that plan, so please remind me to do that. Because that's exciting. Because last year we got this little 2023 planner off of Amazon, and it showed our weeks, showed all of the days on this, like, sheet. Which um, is what a calendar is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't need this energy, Mum. Okay. <laughs> Not on New Year's Day. Um, My New Year's revolution, by the way, was to try and be a bit more chirpy more often. <laughs> Come on, Mum, we can do this. Come on, Mum. I forgot what I was even talking about. Oh, uh, yeah, and for dry January, which I'm not telling anyone about in case I fail it. Shh. Natasha and I have just poured about four or five half drunk bottles of wine down the sink haven't we <laughs> that's such that was... a, like a terrible thing to say on the vlog that's but... quite upsetting i have to oh, well. say to better for my liver though i'm sure <laughs> right okay so last year we went on the british venting website and on 
the Cotswold Cup and unaffiliated and horse events, SCG, seeing what we could enter. Obviously, things went extremely to plan last season. We got our aim, grassroots. Unexpected things happened, like winning the Pony Club Championships and the horse events. I've done a wrap up and highlights. Why do I keep doing that? Highlights on my Instagram and TikTok if you would like to have a sneak peek at that. But I'm contemplating doing a video of ranking each of my events and the pre-vlogging days. So we have gone on, I, I've said this like, I'm trying to get my point across and we keep interrupting. <laughs> That's my Let's role. Stop. So, <laughs> stop. Um, but you can see so my dislocated finger. Shut up. <laughs> I did that when so I we fell had, off a um, horse go on. movie. <laughs> no. So we've gone through all of that stuff again, like the websites and the fixtures, and we've got a 2024 planner, which is exactly the same as the 2023 planner. Um, for good luck. For good luck. And we've even booked a training session with the Howden Way British Venting for the first time. Um, which was really exciting. That was one of my like ambitions. It was one of the things that I really wanted to do. So I'm really glad that we've en entered that. Don't really know how to say it, but you know, word it. Yeah, booked it, darling. Booked, booked. it. Entered yeah. it fine. Are you going to mention also, your other exciting training? Yeah, thing? we've got a winner's day. Also, thanks to Cotswold Cup who gave us our London International Horse tickets that we won and we've got a winner's day for all of the juniors who like were successful in the Coxwell Cup Championships and it's with the world number one so who at the moment is well that'll be a surprise if you know you know but that's going to be a surprise for you lot and what about your other training that you've got lined up for February half term? Date to be confirmed. Well, that'll be a surprise. Oh my word, it's too exciting. It's with another brilliant rider who is like my idol. So if you know, you know. Asha, can you see? Just just have a look. I am videoing. You're videoing? Yeah. So I go right to the bottom and I just cut straight up. Currently, we are smartening flow up. I don't think you guys could hear that bit, but we have pulled her luscious locks. Um, that looks much better. I think it's a slight angle, but I'm just going to try and keep it straight because it's... This is the moment where I spill the beans. Can't do it anymore. I did it in the video. I filmed it with Flo in her stable spilling the beans of this very big thing and of course my mic wasn't on so i couldn't you couldn't hear it so here we are telling you that we have a new lorry on the way um my did mic I, I, wasn't on chat about the lorry not go on my my mic wasn't on but you can hear you so that'll be in the next video but <laughs> like oh, you'll get what i mean but we have a new lorry coming, we're going to kit it out, and that is going to be amazing. a new video, amazing, and we are going to show you, I want to call it Cheryl, Mum wants to call it Ruby, okay, with those two names, you can probably guess the colour, I mean, what's Cheryl got to do with red? Cherry. Oh, you see, no one else gets that. I get that, so that's all that matters.
That really annoys me, me doing that all the time. <sighs> I need to stop that. Um, but anyway, there's the beans, guys. There's the tea. Are you getting a new lorry? How excited out of 10 are you for this new lorry? Oh, I don't think it's possible to describe how excited I am. Marks out of 10. It's way more than 10. I should think all the, of our lovely friends who have lent us their lorries for all of last year will be pleased as well. Mm -hmm. I am very excited. It's just going to give us... So much more freedom. Yeah, and... Yeah. Well, I was so grateful for everyone. It was so kind of them lending us the lorry. Yeah. Look at this. I think we're going to need a new yeah. one of those before next season. We don't want that breaking when you're on a cross-country course. That's um done. No, I was so grateful, but borrowing someone else's lorry is such a big thing. It's a big thing for them to lend, and also it's a responsibility. Yeah. Driving a different lorry all the time, it's not it's not exactly stressful, but Let's I was very you driving. <laughs> Hello. I am on Hello. board, and I would like to do an outfit of the day. Hopefully my mic's in like a good position. I feel like it's more sturdy than last time. <laughs> Hopefully it's catching quite a lot of my sound. you're talking to her. Yeah. Who do you think, maybe? Right, so my OOTD outfit of the day, oh the Ariat breeches, which we love. They gifted me them, and seriously, you need to check out the Ariat website and their shops. And when they sell and retail, like at Wadsworks, it's brilliant. Uh, honestly, their kit is the comfiest, literally. Ever, and I stand by that. Um, Charles Owen Pro 2 helmet. Uh, oh no, just fiddle with the mic. Which is the only helmet company that actually fits me. Uh, so we love that as well. The Ariat base layer, quarter zip, and coat. Ariat boots, Spurs, Wadwicks, I think. Christmas present, Lemuel boots and taris gifted by fiona hobby thanks boo uh, and wadswick's bridal and wadswick's gag yeah and horse from mummy <laughs> hello everybody uh back with a warm duck flow uh, and lovely jumps and chop holes she is not looking very pleased to be back on the film but I am, and I can't wait to get jumping. She's doing chop holes very nicely. And mum's only just finished with the jumps. Thank you, mummy. Uh, so we've only just been able to video. So sorry about that, but it wasn't very interesting. Uh, and I'll come and do the chop holes and then we can get, get started. Jump into the new year. Yeah, quite literally. Hello, it's me behind the scenes. Um, my mic did in fact cut out lovely chop holes there by flow um so i will now be voicing over the exercises that we complete as you can probably tell by the splishy splashy sploshes from flow's little tootsies the school is extremely wet um so yeah that means it's a bit more hard work for flowedly um but gets a bit more fit and here's our first jump of 2024 L literally jumping into 2024 i thought that was so comical that we just had to have a jump today new year's day great we jumped this cross pole quite a few times but we were having a bit of issue seeing a stride and getting her back after the fence so here's me having a bit of a struggle switching it up by changing the rain all of these exercises can really improve um your bond and Especially warm yourself up for jumping. I feel like that's quite a big thing. Um, especially for me. Flo can warm up reasonably quickly with jumping. Um, uh, and my riding needs a bit more of TLC. Tender Love and Claire. So here is our first go at the bounce. As you can see, my riding really does need quite a bit of warming up. Um, seriously, Natasha, get your head in the game start seeing a stride <laughs> i've had many people say to me 
stop being so hard on yourself, but that's what makes you a better rider, so keep going, kids. Really, after two goes, I believe this was, um, you can see such an improvement. So now we get into the proper jumping, I say that, but everything's proper jumping. Just stepping it up a bit. Lovely pop of that upright. Really, what we tried to do here is just take it nice and slow. Um, with enough canter, she pops that lovely upright. Um, skip a bit there because I had to change my leg. Um, and then comes to the skinny bounce. Here is a really lovely trot from Flo. Um, it was just beautiful, I believe. I tried sitting and she just kept going. It was lovely. Um, I feel like I get the best trot out of her when she is jumping due to the impulsion. Here's me coming up over this oxer for the first time and her having a fight with me after the fence, but got her back. It's on the right leg, but I did a little circle because my line was wrong. This is my first time coming to this height of an upright, I believe. Um, and she just clips it, really, the front feet, but we got a nice stride. Um, we came on the other rein and had a much better jump. Lovely, really. And then it's on the correct leg and got a nice line. Kept our canter and popped that oxer. That's quite a nice string together. Now me and Flo are both fully warmed up. The fences have gone up a bit and she took a bit of a long stride there. Um, that one was 105, I believe, and this is 110. Popping lovely, Flo, lovely. I really couldn't resist screenshotting these. Look at Flo go. Last jump of the day. She's feeling so well at the moment. We're not going to have any problem getting her fit. And pop lovely. I've got to keep my mic like this. Sorry. Mum thinks she's coughed in her mic. Uh, she tried to switch off, apparently. Uh, I, was, I think the oxer was 105 and the upright was 110. Welcome back. Um... We are now in the house. I've got food over there and Margot's trying to eat it. But I did say that I wanted to show you my season's plan. So that is what I am about to go over. Um, we're starting from January 21st. And obviously things will move around. Like last year we had lots of movement on here. So things might get scribbled but this is the plan obviously nothing really goes to plan but if this could all happen by a button being pressed this is how we would do it so here is our planner um for hand size ratio that's about sorry my dirty hands they have been washed the literal only change with this one from our last year is the fact that it says 2024 instead of 2023 on it but it's very great we loved this one last season and just works pretty much and you can see everything uh, instead of like having to flip three pages like a normal calendar yeah basic uh so we start off the day with we start off the day year um with <laughs> with the cox cup winners day then we move on to training so i think our pre-season training goes basically until march then we have if you can find trainings i mean eventing at my school that's my half term in february uh that's starting off nicely may need to miss a day of school to get to that combined training then we have arena eventing again Oh no, that's why I just really did. I mean, I'm venting at Westworlds. Again, we love Westworlds. Uh, Boomerang cross country training. Uh, straight jumping, Westworlds. And we move on to the proper eventing now. So our first event of the season is going to be the 100 at Waverton. We were going to do the British eventing, Lark Hill, but we love Waverton. I went on Charlie, and I think I've been going for the past three years uh, on the top. And it was my first ever event on Flow uh, last this season. Last year? Oh my god, that's weird I can say that. And it's the Cotswold Cup. So they're very well organised events. I really recommend. Then we possibly are going to do the 100 at Carmsden. This is just to get in the flow of doing 100 just before we head off to Badminton Grassroots. That is going to be a memory to remember, basically. Uh, the next event we have, so we have quite a nice break, three weeks in between that. And then we go Blindly Heath, under 18s. We are aiming for the under 18s 100 squad this year, but we know how tricky that is. Um, we will explain that more when we get into those events. Uh, then we have the Burke College of... I can't really uh, read what that says through the video. Under 1800. Farley Hall, under 1800. Uh, Twitter down, 100 in July. We haven't found the date for the 
under 18 championships obviously not sure if i'll get there yet but hopefully um then we move on to Dawn's Park 100. Love Dawn's Park, that's my second favourite venue over at Whitehawks. Then we have Whitehawks 100, love that. Uh, one star intro at Wellington, that's like my other big aim of the season. Would love to do a one star, it's just quite cool. Isn't it? Um, then we go into Gordon Keith 105, West Wilts, Norway's fingers crossed. That would be very cool in September, then a few weeks. Osbyton, one star intro, that has question marks because I'm not entirely sure that wasn't on the big plan. And obviously, I don't think we would do Tweetsdown 105 the next weekend, but that's very sick. Uh, and then maybe we'll end on Morton Morale Novice, or maybe we'll end on Tuesday, or maybe not really sure about the end of that, but quite cool. Obviously, big thanks to my mother for sitting me down, she's walking away from me, sitting me down and basically organising all of this. She's the one who ends it, she's the one who gets me there. That's all of the fitness training with her, basically. Does everything. Um, so thanks, Mum. I did do a little outro on the on the horse. But I don't think it worked because my mic ran out of battery and we couldn't hear any of the sound. So the words I used were resilient and brilliant. Margot, she is actually trying to eat my food now. So I better go. That was a vlog and a half. Um, before I go, I've been debating whether I say this or not. But you may, you may have realised that there are no pony club fixtures on here. I didn't want it to become a rumour. Uh... Mom goes running this way. Didn't want it to become a rumour and like something that we haven't really addressed. But next season we are not going to be joining the Pony Club. Um, the reason behind this is not because we have anything against the Pony Club. We love the Pony Club. It's done wonders for us and it basically taught me uh, how to ride along with Mum and my wonderful Pony Charlie. Thanks, me and Maddie. Um, that's the one. He really got me going but obviously they helped so much um and i've had a whale of a time this season with the rallies the um pony club championships the qualifiers being in the teams and i just think it's kind of time for us to focus on british venting more uh the howden way and under 18 trainings and being in those teams and it's just kind of the next step that i want to take um i've had a big chat with mum about it and it's really my decision uh but i'm very excited about next season uh can't wait to get started with this uh and we'll see you in the next vlog i'm not entirely sure what that will be maybe it will be getting the lorry ah! but see you guys next time thank you for watching see you next time